You've seen the title, so you know what we're doing today. And if you saw my video the other day, my very rare trade-up video, you will know that I've had some pretty good luck. I'm filming this right off the back of that because I managed to cop myself another White Octane for the third trade-up video in a row, which is absolutely insane. So I thought, what better time to do the next episode of the Crate Bucket List? And the first time I upped the amount of crates from 100 Vindicator crates to 150 to try and get what we need, which is the Nero Agitator. That is the only thing left. Obviously, I believe this can come painted. We've had the Glorifier, the Shattered, we got an Intrudium for one of my viewers, we had the Black Creepers, the White Neoyos, and the White Sentinel. So we've done everything except the Neuro Agitator, and by the time this video goes up, it's not currently out yet. It's coming out today, later on, at the time of recording. The Stranger Things update will be out, and if this isn't a Stranger Things goal explosion, I said this when it came out, then I don't know what is. I'm really getting that vibe. So today in this video, obviously, we're opening these 150 crates, so smash a like on the video if you're excited. I'll probably open the first 50, and then for the final 100, do a best items only, so it's just a jam-packed video of just awesomeness. So I'm excited. Before I do get into this crate opening, I just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsors of this channel, Logger.com. Without them, I promise you, videos like this would not be possible. It just wouldn't. So your support on them... So your support for them and support for me using my discount code PIXEL, it's not a lot of effort for you and it actually saves you money, but for me, it really does help me out. So if you want to go and check them out, you can do that. I'm going to play the sponsored intro, then we're going to get in and open these 150 Vindicator crates. We're going to get a black market today. It's just a matter of which one which is exciting. You guys need to go and check out the sponsors of this video, Logger.com. They sell gift cards for cheaper than they actually are. If you use my discount code PIXEL at checkout for 6% off, say you want a $50 gift card, go to the checkout, use my code, and you can get it for cheaper than $50. If you want to buy V-Bucks on Fortnite, keys on Rocket League, or much more, then you can go and do that using the link in the description. Logger is not affiliated with any game that I'm playing or showing on the channel, but they're really supporting me, and I hope you go show them some love. So... With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. So here we are, baby. 150 crates to go. We're sitting down, relaxing, having a good time. Not quite the start we had when I... Oh, hold on a minute. I take it back. Let me have a little look. White truncheons. Not too bad. Look, look I just filmed the trade-up video. We got three whites on the last three trade-ups, including the Y-Octane. All of a sudden, we got a white one in the crate as well. It is a white day. I don't know if I can... <laughs> that sounds a bit weird, but it is. It is. And uh, yeah, it's not quite the luck I had when I opened my viewers crates. The first ever viewer crate I opened for a video. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I got a black market, an intrudium, of course, as you guys know. And uh, at the time recording this, obviously that video hasn't gone out yet. So I don't know the reception to it. I don't know if there'll be many people or a load of people contacting me, asking me to open their crates for them. I've had it over the years. You know, it started when I was getting consistently good crate. Like I had people say, almost as a joke... Like, low-key, can you open my crates for me? I'm going to bring the mic slightly closer. I might regret that if I get a black market or something. Um, and yeah, a lot of people were saying, can you open my crates for me? And very few times, like, I, I, I actually did because either they were joking or we just never got around to it. But a few times in the past, even some friends of mine, they've given me crates. They've given me their keys and they just thought, yo, that's sick. For luck like this, they just thought, maybe I'll get Pixel to open the crates and get some luck. We got some red it is so red. Crimson Apparatus Wheels Special Edition. And that, do you see how well that worked with the car? I mean, the Black Creepers works with the black accent of the fire, but the red worked equally as well to me. That looked insane. That was really good. Painted Special Edition. I'm getting a call. This could be good news. Could be garbage. I guess that was somewhat good news. My TV license is cancelled. <laughs> Because I moved my TV license to the house that I was going to go and live in. But now that I don't live there, I don't need a license. And 150 quid to watch TV that I don't watch is a lot of money. My parents pay the license. So at least while I'm here, I don't need that. So we can move swiftly on adult things. That is another thing I have to do today. I have to cancel my talk talk internet connection to the apartment I used to live in. And at some point, I have to get around to contacting the gas, water and electric companies to say, Yo, don't charge me. <laughs> don't charge me for this address. I don't live there. I've used my energy and water. Please leave me alone. There's so many little things you do when you move house, when you're an adult that you have to get used to that you just you just don't think about at first. And I tell you, that's one thing as well. Since for the past year, since moving out and becoming way more independent, um, I've gotten a lot better at speaking on the phone because I'll still, <laughs> to this day, if they have a live chat, whichever company it is, I'll be like, can I resolve this on the live chat? But usually if it's a problem to the extent where I'm actually contacting the company, they'll just say to me, this is the kind of thing you should probably give us a call on. So I'm like, right, fine. 
I'll give you a call. So I've spoken to a lot of companies over the phone and stuff like that. And, um, you know, so I'm, I'm better at talking on the phone, which is always a good thing because no one starts being good at talking on the phone, I feel like. You, you, you're just not. Maybe when you're talking to friends, it can be it can be different. But when you have to talk to someone you don't know, when there's a, sp a specific goal in mind and you have to talk on the phone, it can be kind of nerve-wracking. I don't get nervous as such. I just kind of would prefer not to do it. You know, if there's a choice between calling up a company and doing something productive or just not being on the phone... I and many others would just choose not to make the call. So, so yeah, that's one thing I've definitely got better at. I've, I've learned a lot of stuff, um, you know, in the last year since since becoming more of an adult and living on my own. Very cool decal there, by the way. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like it's crazy to think how much has changed. Painted? There we go. Painted Ninja Star. How much has changed in the last year? Now, obviously, you guys, if you watch the channel, if you watch my more personal video at the start of October that I released, then you'll know that things haven't been the best for me in, in a few aspects of my life. You know, I've gone through some heartbreak, so to speak. Uh, stuff that happened, stuff that she did that was not good uh, and that led to the end of the relationship. And uh, But I've really grown as a person. I really, really have. And Obviously, everyone has down days and everyone has days where they doubt themselves. Everyone has days where they just feel like they're, I don't want to say insignificant, but at the same time, you kind of feel like, what am I doing with my life? And everyone has this kind of moment. And I've, I've been exposed more to those feelings recently for obvious reasons. But I'm, I, I think, I'm not trying to kid myself here. I do think I'm in a, a pretty good place. I know for a fact I'm in a good place under the circumstances. And I really do put a lot of that down to my family and friends. I've reconnected with... A lot of my friends that I hadn't seen for a while, and of course, being around my parents each day, even if it's for five minutes, it just, you you know, it's priceless. It's, it's, it's just priceless, and I'm, I am in a good place. So, yeah, th this year's taught me a lot. I've learned a lot, and is that another, it's another white one, isn't it? I'm excited. It's another white one. I am really excited to keep going forward and keep making videos, and as December comes around and we start thinking about the Blueprint update, I don't know how to feel about it. It's painted clod, ho clod hoppers right there. I'm certainly excited. Uh, a little bit. I, I don't even want to say I'm nervous because I don't think I am. At least not yet. There's a sentinel. I'll take that. Like, I haven't thought too much realistically about the new update in the sense of what it means for me. So, I'm not actually nervous. I don't lose sleep over it. The first night they announced the removal of crates, I did lose quite a lot of sleep. And that sounds lame to you guys. Probably it's like saying this guy's losing sleep over crates. It's not the fact that I won't be able to open crates. I can live my life without opening crates. It's just what it means for my channel and what it meant for my channel. And that first night when I didn't have really a lot of time to process it, we didn't know any news as to what what event, what event, update was going to replace it, which is obviously the blueprint update. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was so in the dark. I genuinely lost sleep. I started thinking about jobs. I started getting a little bit... A little bit worried, but now as time has passed, you know, you think about things rationally and you think, actually, I'm going to be okay. Whatever happens, I'm going to be okay. And if you guys keep hearing the controller disconnecting, if that's a part of the system sounds that do make it into the edit, my controller still completely works. It just, if I touch it, it'll probably happen again. Yep, right on cue. Didn't happen. Uh, but randomly, it just makes the sound as if it's disconnected, but it really hasn't. But then again, as I said in a previous video, I've had this wire and this controller for over three years. So I'm surprised they still work, given that I, I've not thrown my controller. Might do now, though. Might throw my controller now. Yeah. That's just not good, is it? <laughs> That's two shattered now. We've got him back-to-back -back videos. And when you get a black market gold explosion in the Vindicator crate, it's a 50% chance shattered, 50% Vindicator. So, 50% 50, 50 Neuro Agitator. So when you get two, odds are one of them will be the Neuro Agitator. But not today. Not today. Let's check the certification. We've still got 111 crates, so that means odds are... Okay. Okay, I'll, I'm going to roll it back a little bit. That is cool. That's the only certification that would make me react in a positive way. Strike a black market. I'm going to take that. Imagine it was a striker neuro agitator. But yeah, as I said, we still have 111 crates, which means odds are, literally speaking, we will get another black market. Is that guaranteed? No, but odds are we will. So that is what I'm going to be looking for. We did get a striker shattered, which is awesome. Uh, we've also had a white shattered. Would have been great if those two combined. We got a purple. I'm going to say purple. I'm going to stick my neck out on that and say purple sentinel that's quality most recent there we go look at me knowing my colors we've got 110 more crates so we should get another black market we've had two shattered we had an intrudium and we had a glorifier so we've had 
four black markets in the Vindicator crate. So hopefully now we can bring out the Neuro Agitator. I was I was talking about throwing my controller. I saw the black market froze, saw the gold explosion. Because it, it to me, because I was so aware of the black market color straight away, I was like, this is taking a long time. Why is there no car or no gold? Took a bit longer. The gold came up and then I saw the word shattered and I just wasn't impressed. I just didn't, just didn't really like that. Come on, baby. Give us something to scream about. It's a Neo, yo. Not great. <laughs> First exotic of the video, though, it has to be said. So I'm going to open these five crates, get us down to 100, then the final 100, the big batch, the one where you expect another black market. And with my luck, Psyonix, please give us another black market in this video. We should hopefully get one. So it's going to be best items only. You're going to see, like I said, the best of the best. That's how we do it. That's how we roll here. So I am buzzing for that. We've got a black market out the way early. So I'm not going to be disappointed throughout the rest of this crate opening because we have got one. So now it's just playing with house money, seeing what we can get, seeing if we can make any progress to completing the crate bucket list and completing crates. So I then have the freedom to do what I want when I want, knowing that I haven't failed, <laughs> basically. Uh, so this is going to be a very rare, there's another disconnection sound twice, painted special edition pick, it's not too bad. 50 crates in, it's been very good. Painted Sentinel, Strike Sentinel, Striker Black Market, Painted Ninja Star, it's been good. The next crates you will see will be highlights. Smash a like if you're enjoying it and let me know down in the comments if you are. And let's get it. Ah. Oh. Oh, painted. You caught me stre <laughs> stretching out my back. <laughs> Rip. I think I will do trade-ups in this video as well, actually. I hadn't even thought about trade-ups, but we're going to be doing those. Oh, come on. Come on. Creepers. Damn it. Damn it. 90 more to go. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling very lucky today. Wait for it. Boom. <laughs> Purple creepers. Looks a bit weird, but I like it. I like it. Look at this, baby. Look at this. I'm feeling lucky. Psionics, man. <laughs> okay. Painted pickets. Highlights are... They're coming. They're on their way. Let's see what else we can get here. See, this is the first time we've had rare wheels in Rocket League. Is that a, is that a highlight? It's in now. It's in the video now, anyway. <laughs> Let's get a real highlight now. Come on. Oh. I don't know if that's a highlight, but I mean, they do look good. They really do. 80 more crates to go. We're not even halfway. Come on. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Woo. We've completed. Oh my gosh. We've completed the crate bucket list. It's a weird color. Please don't be burnt sienna because that just is a bit bait, but it might be green or something, which is kind of sick. We're halfway through. That's twenty. That's seventy-five crates in. Seventy-five to go. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what to say. I actually am a little bit. <laughs> it counts. It counts. Painted is is unreal. It could have been a white neuro agitator, but I, I cannot think like that. Burnt sienna. Yes, it's the worst. But it, it's different from it's different from non-painted. So there we go. The same page. We got the striker shattered and the burnt standing neuro agitator. And all that means is we've completed it. Once again, I think it was uh, for the, the totally awesome. It was the first 150 crate opening. We got everything we wanted. The velocity and the jewel and dragons took a lot longer. But the first 150 vindicator crate opening, 75 crates. We got two black markets, a striker shattered and a painted neuro agitator. I don't, I mean, I said, Psionics, I hit the mic. They're hooking me up. Question is, if we can get two in the first 75, can we get two in the second 75, Psionics? I doubt it. Let's be real here. But I did say that when we started, we were getting a black market today. And we did. Wow. <laughs> oh, man, I've completed crates. I've done it. Oh my god! Oh yes! Let's go! <laughs> In seven crates! Eight crates, maybe? They might be like one and like above the. That's what I meant. Above each other. Look at that! Eight crates! We got the normal one, which I'm so happy about because the Burnt Sienna looks kind of dodgy. And now I can say I've got it off the bucket list. A striker shattered and two neuro agitators. I said we're realistically not going to get two black markets in the second 75. We got 68 more to go to get one more to do that. Within eight crates, we got two neuro agitators. One of them painted. We got the striker shattered. What? I imagine I had on the crate bucket list neuro agitator as one and a painted neuro agitator as another. 
Completed it. Shattered. Normal. Painted. Completed it. I... What the heck? This is unreal. I... Uh, <laughs> another black market. Another near agitator. I love seeing that black market glow. Psionics, make it four. Please, for this video, just make it four. Give it an absolute belter of a video. Please. Oh my days. I've had three black markets a fair few times, but four is quite rare. And you know four makes for the perfect quadrant black market thumbnail. So please, game. Please hook us up. We can get painted exotics in the trade-ups, you know? Black markets are where it's at. We've got three already. This is unreal. I knew I was lucky. I knew I was lucky today. Got a white octane literally an hour ago. It wasn't even in Trudium, was it? <laughs> this is the best Vindicator crate opening on YouTube. We've actually done it. Four black markets. We've had three black markets in 16 crates. What? Look. Look at that. 16 crates. We've had three black markets. All new as well. Oh my goodness. Look. What? What? We got these four today. <laughs> what the heck? I can't... <laughs> I'm, I, I'm speechless. Imagine we get five. That's the most I've had in one opening. I, um, I did a video. I think it was 150 crates. I got five black markets and I, I titled it. I broke the Rocket League black market record. And, you know, five in one opening that's like less than 200. So it's not like thousands of crates, you know? And... We've got four in 90 crates. Oh my... I, <laughs> I was just... I'm going to clip that fourth one and put it on Twitter. You just know. Because I'm pretty sure I summed it up. I said I got a Y Octane and I've had three black markets already. And then the fourth one came in that clip. The timing could not have been more perfect for me to put it on Twitter, Instagram. I just... What? This is the best Vindicator crate opening on YouTube. And it, it just is. Painted Nero Agitator. Neuro Agitator when we're looking for it. Striker Shattered. You know, added something new to the old one. The, the car comes up for the fourth black market. Could be the Intrudium. And instead, it is the Glorifier. Not to mention, we got the red special edition apparatus wheels, which look absolutely insane. Some purple creepers. We're not even 100 crates in, and we have trade-ups to do. I, I, <laughs> I'm shocked. I'll stop talking. Again, we're going back to highlights from this point. But what a 50 crates this has been. Oh my goodness. Next one's going to be another highlight. I just thought of a cool idea for the thumbnail. I could have four black market glows in quadrants. Then in the middle, just to cut out of my empty DX racer chair and put text over the chair saying, I left the room in disbelief. Will I have the balls to do a thumbnail like that? I don't know, but I could do. That's another thing. This video is definitely getting premiered on YouTube, without a doubt. <laughs> so yeah, there could be no spoilers in the thumbnail. Four black market glows. The title saying the best vindicator creating of all time and the text saying that I left the room. That could work. My YouTube brain is, is racing right now. Oh my days, another one. Painted certified Sentinel. Let's go. 40 more crates. Can we get a fifth black market? I'll take an exotic though. Neo-yo, not too bad. Can we get a fifth one? I'm going to challenge you again, Sionix. I said there was no way we'd get two more in the N75. We got two already and there's 40 to go. I dare you to give me a fifth. Surely that's not going to happen, right? <laughs> that was a weird crate. What just happened there? Is this? Hmm. Don't know how to feel about that one. <laughs> Red. Oh, painted certified white apparatus wheels. Quick check. White turtle. Give me the turtle. Inject it into my veins, why don't you? <laughs> it's been a long time since the craving made me stand up and get out of my chair and go away. It's been a long time.
<laughs> now that I think about it, in terms of luck, the Vindicator crate has probably been the best crate for me in Rocket League. I got the best exotic straight away, the White Sentinel fairly quickly, and all the Black Markets pretty quick as well. Oh, another exotic. Please be a painted creeper. It's another non-painted Neoyo. Can you stop, game? Please. <laughs> That was a weird crate. And it's another... What the heck? I'm being fisted. <laughs> I can't complain. I really... I really can't. I shouldn't. Okay, so it's the final eight crates. I've had some great crates in the last eight in the past few videos. So we're going to talk you through now. There hasn't been a lot of highlights in the last... 30 or 40 crates. There's been painted clod hoppers, but I don't think I put them in the video realistically. But you, I, you could give me clod hoppers to the end, and I actually wouldn't mind, care, or feel bad about it because it's been, it has been the best vindicator crate opening, and to know that it's the best one with like 50 to go is <laughs> is absolutely phenomenal. We've had a few exotics. We had the painted creeper, but now the painted exotic should start coming when we get into trade ups at the end of these few crates. We've got another sentinel that will probably be going. Let's be honest. Three more crates. I'm going to do all the rares and even the very rare trade ups and still only show you the best items only. In previous videos, they look sick. Okay, I'll take those. In previous videos, I started at very rare to import drop trade ups while I was looking for the white sentinel when I showed you every single one. Now, I'm only going to show you the best and then I will, of course, show you all the import to exotic trade ups. This is the final crate. Can we get a fifth? No fifth black market. So, yeah, I'm going to trade up all the rares, very rares. We'll get to imports and you'll see. You'll see what's good. Yo, did we get another pair of white truncheons? We did. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to very rares now. And that is going to be the last trade up. So how many imports do we have to trade up? A fair, a fair few. Let's get in and trade up some imports to exotics. Neoyos kicking us off. Brilliant. Ninja stars. Give us the creeper. Yep, should have said painted. Give us a painted creeper by the end of this video. That's all I ask for. Come on, baby. Okay, they seem to not be getting the memo. Uh, but that's fine. We got apparatus wheels. This will be a painted Neoyo. Guarantee it. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was coming. <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, the the painted creepers are now a doubt in my head because of that one. But let's see how we go anyway. There's a normal creeper. You see, I just feel like I know how trade-ups work, man. I've done so many of them in the past. Uh, because we're pretty much at the end right now. Uh, you can go... Oh, they're white turtle. I've got white, so you can go unless I find something else. The special edition orange isn't the best. Saffron and... Oh, yeah, you can definitely go. Get rid of the white for sure. Um, uh, we got purple apparatus. You can go. Okay, this might be the last one we do. Can we get a painted creeper to finish? A normal creeper again. Guardian. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. We can definitely do another one. I'm going to do... I was going to do painted sentinel only, but we can't. So, uh, black apparatus. You can go. And the rest of white. Or Painted Sentinels. So yeah, a lot of Painted Sentinels. I don't care. They might be insane. I don't know. Final chance. Neoyo certified. Not the best import trade-up luck, I guess, from the Vindicator crate. I knew that was going to be painted. I predicted that one. But that is going to do it for the best Vindicator crate opening and the premiere on YouTube because there's no doubt I haven't premiered this because it's been that unreal. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I've been Pixel. You've been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.